I didn't know it was recording. <laughs> What's up guys, Jalon from Heart Gainer Fitness here and in this video I'm going to show you an easy 3200 calorie meal plan that you can follow to make some gains. Let's get it. What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Hard Gain and Fitness. Here on this channel, I give you all the tips and tools that you need to defeat yourself and crush the scale. And hey, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I put out new videos. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so recently I put on 10 pounds in just under two months, trying to lean bulk, gaining one to two pounds per week, and I vlogged every bit of it. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and check out the vlogs. All the B-roll that you'll see from this video is coming from the vlog. So meal number one is a smoothie. Every morning I try to have a smoothie for a couple reasons. One, the main reason is because it allows me to be mobile and I work a full-time job. So making that smoothie really allows me to get a meal in early in the morning, taking advantage of my feeding window so that I can get all of my calories in throughout the day. My smoothie consists of three servings of oats. Let me show y'all something real quick. Don't make the mistake of getting old fashioned oats, all right? Make sure you get some quick oats when you're making your smoothie. But I get three servings of quick oats. If you try to use the old fashioned oats, I promise you, it's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be all hard and grainy. It's almost like eating rice like you put rice in a blender and then try to drink it that's almost what it tastes like so don't get the old-fashioned oats make sure you get the quick oats three servings of quick oats one serving of peanut butter one serving of almond milk which is just one cup one cup of water and then i use one scoop of protein all you need you don't need those big giant you know 3200 calorie smoothies first thing in the morning uh, unless unless you're gonna be on the go all day and you won't have time or the place to eat. Those type of smoothies are perfect for that situation because you're gonna be gone all day and you don't have the time to sit down and eat a meal. So those are perfect. But in this specific scenario, I'm talking about just a regular day where you're at home or at work or whatever the case may be, this is the type of meal plan that I'm talking about. So that's my first meal. Have it every morning, it's great. This smoothie comes out to 45 grams of protein, 107 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of fats. That's meal number one. Meal number two that I usually eat is two egg sandwiches and I top it off with some rice cakes. So I have four eggs, four slices of bread, and I have four rice cakes. Sometimes I'll put some peanut butter on the bread. It really depends on how hungry I am. If I'm kinda hungry, then I'll try to put the peanut butter on there just to get some extra calories. Um, if not, I'll just eat it as is and go with that. This meal gives me 46 grams of protein, 88 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fats. Too easy. Meal number three. Okay, meal number three is also pretty simple. It's four ounces of meat, 190 grams of rice. Now that's cooked rice. Make sure you get that part right. 190 grams of cooked rice and I have one serving of pecans, all right, which is basically just a handful. It's not a lot at all, but it gives you a ton of calories just from that small bit of pecans. That's why I eat those, plus I like pecans. So that meal brings, oh wait. So for the meat, I use the 85% lean and 15% fat uh, ground turkey meat for my four ounces of meat. That's for a specific reason, and that's because that little bit of extra fat gives me a little bit of extra calories so I can hit my calories easier throughout the day without having to stuff myself. And this meal brings me to... Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> 32 and a half grams of protein, 90 grams of carbs, and 37 grams of fats. All right, let's get to meal number four. Not four, but four. All right, so for meal number four, I have the exact same thing. So four ounces of meat, 85, 15, lean ground turkey. I have one serving of pecans and 190 grams 
of white rice. Exact same meal gives me the exact same amount of macros, of course. So let's get to meal number five. The last meal of the day is super simple. It's just a bowl of cereal. I use a cereal called Kashi Go Lean. Uh, I think it's called Crunch Berry Cereal. They have other flavors, but they're disgusting. So trust me, get the Crunch Berries. It still has great macros. It's still good for you. And it's a really easy way to top off your macros for the day so that you can hit the calories that you need to make some gains. Question of the day before we go is, do you wanna see any other sample meal plans? And if you do, how many calories do you want those meal plans to be? Comment down below and let your boy know. That's it for this video. You already know who it is, man. Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness, helping you defeat yourself and crush that scale. I will see you guys in the next video. You already know what time it is, man. It's time to grow. Peace. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in.